Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you guys can hear me. Sorry if it's a little too windy, but uh, you know, some of my, my doors, or this door here, uh, it, it shuts, but it doesn't shut all the way. Like it doesn't close all the way like it's supposed to. I mean, it never, it never has as long as I've owned it, but it's like very windy outside today. So I apologize if you can, if you can hear me, or if you, or if you can't hear me, I should say. Well, what's going on, everybody? Frank Slauson here. How's it going? Well, a uh, lot of stuff to talk about today. Huh? It's kind of funny, you know, after I talked about ending the daily vlogs, it's kind of funny that uh, all of a sudden there'd be a lot of news going on. Like, I ended the vlogs on Monday, and around that time, we heard about the, uh, I mean, everybody knows by now, we heard about the, uh, the bombings going on in, in Boston. And, you know, normally I don't talk about the news, I don't really get into the news, because a lot of the news, you know, is negative. You know, there's not many good, few good stories out there anymore, and I'm sure most of you guys would agree with me. That when you turn on the TV, most of the time, unless very rare now, would you ever hear of a good story, you know, of a feel-good story. Something that makes it feel good inside, you know. Well, this Boston bombing thing wasn't really a feel-good story. I mean, it kind of maybe was with all the help of, you know, volunteers and stuff, you know. But it's like, uh, I don't know, it's very, it's just very weird. To the path of all this stuff that's going to happen. We had the Boston bombing uh, on Monday, and then two days later, uh, you had the uh, explosion in Texas, and then, uh, and then last night, which is Friday afternoon now, last night, Thursday night morning, I was watching my copy of WrestleMania 25 on Blu ray. But I happened to reach into the post on, on line on Facebook, you know, some of the friends that I have, even if I've never talked to before, uh, and stuff about what's going on. And they said there was a shooting in uh, Boston around that area. And it, you know, surprisingly enough, there was some people that, uh, uh, that did the Boston bombing. And it's like, wow. <coughs> I mean, it's very, I mean, what do you say about that stuff, you know? I mean, what, what can you say, what can't you say, you know? Uh, the, the one thing that I can definitely say that really helped this case come to a close, even though it's not done with yet, but how they got to know the people and everything, it's all because of social media, okay? People, you know, nowadays have, you know, cell phones and, and everybody, just about everybody around uh, has a uh, video camera in their cell phone or a video camera alone. Like, like I got a video camera, and all it does is it takes a video camera, but it also takes pictures. Not very good pictures, but and, uh, it's more it's more supposed to be used for a video camera. Well, anyway, it's just kind of funny how everybody is a film film photographer now. You know, pretty much. And all the people that took video, you know, shots, and everything, you know, we're wondering who the people were that did it. And all thanks to modern technology and, and, and the, the nice, the, the help from everybody around the world, or people that were there, you know, helping, just helping out, they were able to spot the two people that were, that they say, that did it. Now, now, the people that did it, one guy, the older brother, I guess to find out that they're brothers, and to find out that, uh, that uh, the one guy, that uh, the older brother, you know, got shot or killed or something like that, I don't know, I don't remember how, but then he said he was dead. And then the other guy, the younger guy, the older brother, is still currently, as we speak, in the It may change by the time I upload this video, but... Uh, Uh, on, the, on the hunt anymore. 
But it's all thanks to modern technology. That's one of these people have to realize now, the boss, the FBI and all that stuff, that if it wasn't for technology and social media, none of these people would be found. You know? I guarantee that. I, you know, back in the day, before all this, you know, Facebook being pussy in the crowd and kind of that happened, I mean, so nobody, you know, nobody could tweet about it or, or, or get, you know, it took a long time for the right justice to be served and everything, you know. Now it's like, thanks to modern technology, if this ever happens again, or there's another explosion or another bad thing that happens, or somebody on the run or whatever, now they know how to do it. They know how to get their answers off quickly. Almost like what you see on TV. And a lot of people are making that comparison. Like, you know, nowadays people want to, people think that, you know, it's going to be like an episode of CSI where, you know, the, all the cases are going to be solved in a matter of minutes, you know. But, you know, this is real life, say a TV show. But then, you know, I, I got to think of this too. It's like, you know, are these guys are really the guys that did it? Or were they set up to do it? I mean, I don't know who to really believe, you know. There's this guy named Alex Jones who uh, is good at, you know, he talks about a lot of different things as far as, you know, our rights and everything. And, and, and I don't know if he's telling the truth or what. I don't know if you guys know this Alex Jones guy. I'm pretty sure most people do. You know, it's almost like Jesse Ventura, you know. He, he's also one of those guys who are into conspiracy theories and all that. And I'm sure he be talking about this. I don't really, I mean, I don't really know, you know, what happened or who got this involved, but what they said is these guys and brothers, and, and so maybe it is, you know. I would hope that they would talk to people, you know, instead of just uh, picking up this guess that two people that just because they're dark skinned and just because they're from another country that, you know, maybe they didn't do it. But more likely, they probably did. Why would the media have to do that? That's what I mean. They wouldn't do You know, that's just the thing, though. It's like some people, you know, in some cases, would be blamed for things that they never did. You know, like, like myself, I mean, you know, I've never been, uh, there's never been a man up for me or anything like that. But, uh, you know, like in jobs and stuff like that, you know, sometimes you get wrongfully accused. You know, it's almost like that, but like 10 times worse. Uh, but you get to do something with that, but there's like a manhunt for you. And uh, the cops are looking for you all right around the area, just looking for you. And, uh, you know, they want to bring you to justice and make your life basically open. So I feel sorry. I don't feel sorry for the like, guy and the kid that's right away. If he did do it, if it's, if it's really him that did it, that he deserves to. Uh, I don't know what he deserves, you know. I'm not really a guy that's for the death penalty. I don't really believe in killing anybody. But, you know, some people do. Some people think it should be executed by their way or just shot. I don't know his brother was. So I don't know. I really don't know. But you know what, what bothers me about this? What really bothers me is like, what, what was the motive? that when the boss of Maritime comes, that's where there's lots of people who are going to get explosive. It's like, what, you know, what did we do to them? I think they're from Russia. What did we do to them? What, what did we do to them? These are not so bad. They're going to be playing at work. They don't want to kill them. There's some people that just want to have a good time.
Like I said, I don't really talk about the dude as much. I, but this was a good story. It's not a feel good story at all by any means, but but it's like something that everybody's talking about right now. And I, I think it's this is the longest I've gone watching CNN and Fox News Channel. <laughs> it's, it's a story that interests me of how quickly things can change in a matter of hours or days. You know? All these kids far as that, they never were going to get caught. Luckily, they, they, the, the people of Boston and the FBI police and the FBI thought of the idea for the first time ever to actually ask people for help around the world and that's what helped solve this case. Bottom line. They would never, never thought about doing that? Awesome. Uh, the next, the next part here, I'm going to do my review when we go to Rosal today. As I'm driving, <coughs> I'm going to Rosal, and as I promised, uh, tonight we're going to see that movie Olympus has fallen. And right after I get done, it'll be darker then. But right after the movie's done, I'm going to do my review on it. So that's going to be the next part of this video. So anyway, uh, we'll be right back with my review. And uh, keep watching, because you never know what you expect. Even though we're not doing daily vlogs no more, it doesn't mean I'm not going to do videos. Like, this is just easier for me, especially where I, you know, because of where I live. And when I live, you know, when I get back on my own and stuff, maybe things will be different. Maybe I'll try to do a month more of the daily vlogs again, because it'll be easier. I won't be bothered by anybody. Anyway, we'll see you in a little bit. Hey everybody, Frank Slauson here, we're uh, coming back, and now it's evening now, and I just got done seeing the movie Olympus Has Fallen, and it was a very, very good movie. Overall, I mean, I didn't really do much research as far as uh, researching what it was about and everything, but uh, I saw the trailer for it, and it looked really good. Uh, it has like Morgan Freeman, and I believe uh, Aaron e Eckhart, I believe, and uh, Ger Gerard Butler. Who was in there? So, yeah, pretty action-packed. You know, it's kind of kind of weird to watch a movie like this after everything that was happening. You know, with the uh, uh, Boston Marathon bombing and everything, and, and the explosion in Texas, and then the shooting in, in Boston and everything. It's just kind of weird to to watch a movie like this when you when you think about these things. But uh, I guess <coughs> I guess maybe that was a theme or something for the week or whatever. But overall, it was a very good movie. Uh, definitely, definitely will watch it again when it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, definitely one of those ones that I, you know, I just gave it, gave it a chance, and it really, uh, it, it didn't do me no wrong. So, uh, it was pretty good. It was just playing at our local theater here, in Roseau. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, we have no theater in Greenbush, so I have to, you know, go out of town in order to see movies and stuff. But you know, it's no big deal. I don't, I don't mind that. So go see Olympus Has Fallen if you haven't seen it. Next week, uh, my friend, my friends Cody and Mike are going to be coming with me, and we're going to go to the Shrine Circus, but we're also going to go see the movie Pain and Gain, uh, with Star of the Rock and uh, Mark Wahlberg. So that should be exciting. So we'll have a little review of that, plus a day, a video from that as well. That'll probably be the next video that I do, uh, unless I talk about this big announcement that uh, will be coming pretty soon. I have a big announcement that I can't talk about until probably... Not next week, but the week after. Uh, by May 1st, I can probably announce it when it comes out. But something something special is happening. Something big is happening to me. Uh, and I, I can't wait to tell you guys and share you, with you guys uh, the good news. Anyway, I'm Frankie Slauson. And we'll see you next time for another great Frankie Slauson Show video. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.